Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I have a few days of cleaning to share with you today and we spent the weekend working on outside maintenance and repairs and I tried to squeeze in as much cleaning as I could manage and I'm starting in the living room so that I can wash the blankets and since the laundry takes such a long time to wash and dry, I try to get the laundry out of the way as early as I can and it's a small load that won't take much time to put away and while I have the cover off, I need to vacuum the parts of the couch that collect the most dog hair. And the cover that we keep on the sofa helps to keep the cushions clean so I don't have to vacuum under the cushions quite as often but I am going to flip them over so that they wear more evenly and I'll give the back cushions a good fluff while I'm at it. I have a load of laundry in the dryer that needs to be folded so that I can make room for the next load and I'm sure many of you have heard me say that I wash one load of laundry a day but that doesn't mean that I wash clothes every day. When the hamper is full I separate the clothes into whites, darks, and colors and the biggest pile gets washed first and I also have one day for sheets and blankets and I usually wash the towels with the whites. My husband beat me into the kitchen and started making breakfast before I had a chance to empty the dishwasher this morning, so I have a little cleanup to do in the kitchen.
have a robot vacuum that vacuums the floors downstairs and it's a huge time saver and it's great for everyday cleaning but I still need to vacuum the carpets once a week. I try to include the risers on the stairs in my weekly vacuuming and Miss Callie likes to sleep against this bottom step so it always needs to be cleaned more often and this small rotary attachment that came with my Dyson is the perfect tool for the job. washing machine is finished running so I need to pull all the blankets out to dry and I'll throw the small throw blanket into the dryer but the large blanket needs to air dry. The next day I started out with washing the sheets and I try to get the sheets in the wash as soon as I get up so that I can get the bed made early but I got a late start this morning <laughs> and usually I wash the sheets and put them right back on the bed so that I don't have to fold them but that means I only have one set of sheets to wash and last week I put a new set of sheets on the bed and to save energy this week I have two sets of sheets to wash and one set will go back on the bed and I'll have to fold the other set. To help keep the sheets from getting tangled up in the wash, it helps if they're separated before they go into the machine. So I toss them in one piece at a time. You like me too. We can't take it. The blanket I washed yesterday is all dry and the blanket is a 
faux fur material that needs to air dry, but it always looks like it needs to be combed out once it's dry. So I put it in the dryer for a few minutes on the air dry setting to fluff it back up again. I finally got the basket of clothes put away and came back to give the laundry room a quick wipe down. I managed to keep our primary bathroom clean this week, but this bathroom is due for a good cleaning and I'm using 70% isopropyl alcohol to disinfect the toilet <laughs> and I spray it on the outside of the tank and the bowl and let it set while I clean the rest of the bathroom. And I do the same thing with the toilet bowl cleaner on the inside. And this bathroom stays pretty clean. I wipe it down with disinfectant wipes a few times a week and I clean the entire bathroom every week. This bathroom is so small it only takes about 15 minutes to clean everything from top to bottom and I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth to wipe down the decorations and, and the bathroom fixtures and I'll use a dry microfiber cloth to wipe off the excess water spots. I took the flowers outside to clean off the dust and anything else that might stick to the foliage and I just used the hose to give the flowers a good rinse and then I left them outside to dry. I bought this light for the bathroom earlier this year when I gave this room an update and I'll link that video in the description box in case you missed it, but I almost returned this light because I thought it might be too hard to clean, but it turned out to be pretty easy. I try to include most links in the description box, but be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about anything or if you need a link to something that isn't listed in the description box. Searching. Something that ain't lost Have we got it? Our lines crossed We're wasting time on stuff That doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things That weren't broken Misunderstandings And words unspoken we fall apart. Once the rest of the room is clean, I finish up with the toilet and alcohol kills the germs pretty quickly, but the toilet still needs to be cleaned off and I like to use disposable products on the toilet, so I use disinfectant wipes and wipe down the seat and the outside of the toilet. And the toilet bowl cleaner recommends leaving the product for 10 minutes, so once that's done, I can clean the inside of the toilet bowl. Broken hearts, cause I don't want to waste my time. I save the mirrors for last so that I don't have to clean them twice <laughs> and I had planned on cleaning the entire floor downstairs today but one thing led to another and I didn't get back to it until the following day. I don't wanna waste my 
I set up this cleaning caddy with everything I need to wash the dogs and I use the smaller squeeze bottle so that it's easier to apply the products and I use less product if I dilute the shampoo and conditioner first and keeping the dogs clean helps to keep the house much cleaner and there's not as much dog hair so I vacuum less often and it's much easier to brush out their coats when their fur is soft and clean and I had intended to wash the floors after I washed the dogs so that I didn't end up with wet footprints all over the clean floors but washing the dogs is a much bigger time investment and it's much easier and faster if I have help and mopping the floor will only take about 10 minutes so I put off mopping until the next day Ace loves bath time and he loves the water, but he especially loves all the attention. <laughs> and the best part for Ace is towel time. And when he was a puppy, he figured out that every time he went outside in the rain, he was greeted with a dry towel. <laughs> so he made a game of running outside just so he could come back and get dried off with a towel. Pass us by a thunderstorm, a lightning strike as we hold each other. Our dogs are polar opposites, so while Ace loves the water, <laughs> Miss Callie doesn't want any part of bath time and she avoids water like the Wicked Witch of the West. To keep the water out of their ears and eyes, I just use a wet towel to wash their face. have a family of doves nesting on the patio again this year and they were watching us while we cleaned up and I think they were anxious for us to go back inside so they could have their tree back. Was it all just a dream just all in my head? Floating rivers upstream the things that you say Tell me 
It was in the low 90s today and I was enjoying the cooler weather so much I decided to wash the grill. <laughs> this grill was a bit of an investment, but it's worth every penny. It has a 10 year warranty on the igniter, which is amazing, but it cooks evenly. There are no hot spots to burn the food or cold spots that undercook, so you can use the entire grill space. This model comes in a few different sizes and I'll be sure and leave the link in the description box if you're looking for more information. I'm using a mild degreaser and a chamois cloth to clean the grill and chamois cloths are highly absorbent so I'll use it to dry it off so that we don't end up with hard water spots. The problem is for me, I need a need We spent the first part of the morning cleaning up, but we had other projects that we needed to work on and the spring on the garage door broke. And after that, the day got away from me and it was almost eight o'clock before I realized the bed still wasn't made. <laughs> I was tired and hungry and trying to convince myself that we didn't really need sheets on the bed, <laughs> but common sense prevailed and I got the bed made. That's all for today. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time.